This is the movie news, as brought to you by me, Generally Nerdy, right here on the channel, Generally Nerdy, of whatever platform you might be watching on, probably YouTube. Uh, if you want to see the entire episode, the full news show, then follow the top link in the description, again, assuming you're on YouTube. Or, if you are not, then check out youtube.com slash generallynerdy, generallynerdy.net, those are places to go do the thing. Let's get into the news before I lose my breath. All right, movie section, we have a follow-up. Uh, so the Hellraiser movie, the reboot movie that we've been talking about has finally cast its new pinhead. And it's an interesting casting choice. They've cast an, an actor. Uh, I, I'm, I, I'm gonna try and tread very softly around some of this vocabulary, but uh, Jamie Clayton as pinhead. Jamie Clayton was either born female or has transitioned to female. I am not 100% sure because they keep referring to the actor as a trans actor, though it doesn't seem like there has been any sort of transition. They just identify as trans. So maybe they're just gender fluid, technically born female, but now gender fluid has, you know, come out as gender fluid. I don't know. I, and so I'm, I'm pleading ignorance on this one, but, uh, they have been cast as pinhead. Clive Barker is going to be involved in the reboot. He is going to be a, uh, a, a producer on the project. I don't believe he's part of the writing staff, but he is there to help with the production. Also, uh, because Barker is involved, that bodes well for the project, and they are going back to the original story that started the Hellraiser series. So, I don't know exactly the details there. Those are still kind of vague, but we will be keeping tabs on this. Also, we know that it is going to be a free movie on Hulu. So if you already have a Hulu subscription, then you will be getting this movie for free. So there is that. That is our one follow-up. Now we have some more trailers to discuss. Uh, first up, Trailer reactions for Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Uh, the release of this movie is November 24th. Uh, there, this, this looks like it is going to be easily better than the uh, Paul W.S. Anderson series. That's without question. I do appreciate what they did there. I do appreciate Mila Jovovich and them trying to do something different with their version of the canon. It fell really flat though, and there's very little about that series of movies that I can even kind of appreciate. And zombie horror is my favorite subgenre of horror. So that's kind of saying something. So already off the bat, we are starting in a better uh, realm because we are in Raccoon City. We're dealing with characters from the games. We're dealing with scenes from the games, locales from the games. We see the freaking mansion in this trailer. I'm so excited about that alone. And there are legit shots from the game in this trailer. Now, I, uh, again, did not ever get super deep into the lore, but I have played every Resident Evil game up until Resident Evil 6, and I love this series. So it looks like they're going to be somebody who's still kind of a casual fan. It looks like they're going to be doing some fan service, at least for people in my situation. Uh, hardcore fans, they, they hate everything usually, so I don't know what the, how they're gonna react to this, but so far so good from my eyes. Next is Psych 3, the new Psych movie. The subtitle for this one is This Is Gus, instead of This Is Us, get it? Because, you know, childish humor, it runs rampant throughout this series. This looks like, uh, so again, passive fan. I've seen, you know, more, maybe slightly more than a handful of episodes. It's a good series. Uh, it has been off the air for some time now. This is the third movie since the series went off the air. Uh, and, uh, this trailer is effective. This trailer makes me want to watch this. Uh, it is going to be going directly to Peacock November 18th. So if you are a fan, it's not that far off. We're looking at about a month out before you can watch this. And it, it looks like it's going to be worth the watch. Uh, probably a good idea that it's going to streaming because it does not seem like it's going to be strong enough to support a theatrical release, but not everything has to go into the movie theaters. Streaming is an okay platform if you're a smaller, low-budget thing, then 
yeah, that's definitely an option. And then our final trailer for the movie section is Tick, Tick, Boom. Uh, so if you are new to watching Generally Nerdy or listening to my voice, then you might not know. I am a little bit of a theater nerd, a um, little bit uh, specifically musical theater. I love me some musicals. Yes, I am 100% heterosexual. Thank you for asking. But... I love musicals. All right, so um, Rent being number one in my musical book, uh, there are definitely a lot of flaws with the play. We're not going to get into that. But this new movie is also going to be a musical. The reason I specifically reference Rent is because it is about Jonathan Larson, who is the man who wrote Rent, who brought it to life. And it's a kind of about the the story of him bringing Rent to life, of him making it a thing that we can all appreciate. So that's pretty huge to somebody like me who's seen it a million freaking times, but I could literally sing you the entire play right now. I'm not going to because we don't have that kind of time, but uh, super excited that this is a thing. Now, as far as this trailer goes... I feel like there's a couple of liberties that are being taken that are kind of diminishing the the person that Jonathan Larson was. Uh, not the least of which being, I'm relatively certain Jonathan Larson was gay. And in this movie, the character of Jonathan Larson is not. So I find that pretty interesting. Again, I could be misremembering his biography, but I'm 90% sure that Jonathan Larson was gay. And as a matter of fact, I do know that he died because of complications from AIDS or HIV or one of the two. Uh, those two being directly related, I don't remember that specific. But I do know that that was the cause of his death. So it seems like they've taken a couple of, a, a couple of liberties in order to maybe try and bring in a larger audience than just the theater crowd. But I don't think that was a liberty that was necessary especially considering our social climate these days, that was probably something that would have brought in a bunch more people. But I don't know. Again, I might be misremembering some of these details. So the the trailer doesn't feature really much music at all. There are there's one or two very slight references to new music that sounds like it could have exist in the same universe as Rent. And that is promising. But being that it's a musical, I feel like it should have been a little bit more present in the trailer, unless musicals don't really register very well on, on scans or whatever, however they kind of gauge these things. Uh, so yeah, it, it kind of, I'm, I'm really, really on the fence as to what I'm expecting out of this movie, and if I expect it to be good. I do appreciate that Andrew Garfield is playing Jonathan Larson. I appreciate that Andrew Garfield is a pretty dang good actor so it is in capable hands it's just a matter of uh and also lin-manuel miranda is the director of this so this is his uh the proper directorial de debut i believe uh, I, again i could be misremembering some of these details but it's in pretty capable hands so hopefully this will be as good as I want it to be and not as bad as I'm afraid it might be. That being said, that is all of our trailers. So we have one piece of news for this section and it is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. They have cast their Adam Warlock. I'm sorry, yeah, Adam Warlock. And it's Will Poulter. Um, for those of you that don't know, Will Poulter was the guy who was originally cast as the new Pennywise in the reboot It series. Uh, he had to give it up because of scheduling conflicts and then gave it over to the, uh, uh, I can't remember, the uh, Skarsgård brother that has it now. Um, so he also has done a number of things. He was in the Maze Runner series. He was in uh, comedy with Jen Jennifer Aniston. We Are the Millers, I believe was the name of that one. Accomplished actor. Oh, definitely not the physique of a superhero, though. So very interesting casting. James Gunn himself, though, made the announcement. So you know it's legit. I just don't know how promising this is going to be. That being said, that's all we've got for news. And that is all of the movie news that is worth talking about as far as the nerd sphere is concerned. If you want to see all of the other sections, again, top link in the description, generallynerdy.net, youtube.com slash generallynerdy, 
patreon.com slash germanerdy, all of the wonderful places. Thank you for joining me again, nerds. Before we go, always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.